Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Just the last video I did was I had received this Scale Coat 2 wash away paint remover S56. I got this sent to me from Billy Bear. And I wanted to go ahead and try this stuff out and bring you all along with it. Now this car here, it's the 70 Olds uh, 442 johan kit my friend steve sent me this kit oh last year sometime it's been a while it's been quite a while back this is a paint job that he had painted on there some years ago and it, it needs to be stripped so uh i figured you can see the um the paint it looks like uh, steve did a good job of putting it on there super thick too so what i want to try to do uh, definitely is going to put this stuff up to the test because this paint is has been on there like best I can remember somewhere around 30 something years I believe I forget I forget the exact dates what Steve said how long it had been painted and he had started on it but I'm going to try and strip the paint off of this thing and then we can build this kit so uh, let me read the instructions and says room temperature immerse item so, so you okay so you immerse it in the strip away approximately 10 minutes remove and scrub vigorously under warm tap water with bristle hand or toothbrush rinse thoroughly repeat process if paint remains in tiny crevices allow 24 hours to dry before painting cool so we're going to see how this stuff works again thank you billy for sending this thank you steve for sending this and uh thank you guys for watching this and if you haven't already go subscribe if you've not subscribed if you hadn't hit the like button go hit that like button and uh hey leave me a comment i want to know how many of you guys have used this i didn't get any comments on my haul video where i introduced this stuff i didn't get any comments of anyone using it other than billy uh, that said it works good so anyway, we're going to try it so Hold tight, stand by, and we're going to see if we can find something to immerse it in. Hold on. All right, here we go. Found a container. It's an upside-down display case, which will hold the body just perfect. And I can see now why Billy sent me two bottles of this, because more than likely one's not going to submerge it. What I'll do once I get done with this, if any paint or anything comes off, I will filter. I bought some filters. Let me grab them. I'll show you. I bought some of these paint filters. These are small ones. I was trying to get them for my model paint. But they're little small guys. And I'll filter this back into these bottles when I'm done. So that way, it's not a it's not a total loss. You wouldn't want to just use all of it up. It's got a very much of a a cleaner smell. It smells you, you can imagine it smells like a green cleaner. Let's see what one does. Okay, so one doesn't quite get it. So guess what? Thanks, Billy. Thinking ahead for me. And I could turn the body over probably and still doesn't quite reach the uh, roof line, but what I'll do is probably if I tilt it, get it slide back. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to let this soak. Figure out some way to get it all under water. And uh, maybe I'll just keep splashing it on there. But I'm going to give it the, uh, what did it say, 10 minutes. Apply room temperature. Um, immerse item into strip away for approximately 10 minutes. And remove and scrub. Um, I'm seeing if it was uh, going to eat my skin off if I touch it. Caution, eye contact, skin contact. In case of skin contact, immediately remove. Okay, yeah, don't touch it. So, all right, I'll come right back in about 10 minutes and we'll see what we can do with it. Stand by. All right, well, let me tell you what. Do you see that? Everything except the hood, and it looks like the hood is starting. Everything, that paint is literally going to blow right off with the, with the water hose. That stuff's working great. 
it's 10 minutes in but you do see the hood isn't done anything yet maybe I'll pull the hood off and leave it in there and uh, wow I'm impressed so I'm gonna take this outside to to clean it up but it is definitely working great so let me um, let me get this. Let me get somewhere outside to clean it, and I'll see about moving out there. Stand by. Okie dokie. Outside. Got the old plastic table, the trusty scrub brush, water hose that I've already sprayed myself in the face with. I have on gloves, and I do have on safety glasses that are wet. So let's get her out of here. The paint is literally just hanging. By the way, I'm not being promoted by this product in any way. I just wanted to try it. And I think that it probably, so far, is the best results. I don't want to get water in this stuff either because I don't want to dilute it. I've got to pour this back in, see if I can get it over here and not spill it. All right. Okay, so. Look at this. Oh my. Look at there. There was no primer. The hood may need another soaking. Oh my goodness. I've never had it. I don't know what kind of paint this was. But um, this stuff works pretty darn good. Thanks, Billy. Um, I want to get the hood off of here. And it's on these little hinges of some sort. Uh, how the heck do you get them off? Uh, did I break it? No. So it said, give it a good scrubbing. Places that are still, you know, soak it a second time for places that are uh, are tough to get off. Look at that that beautiful blue Johan plastic. I'm surprised this red covered it. What in the world? They had such wild colors. I gotta get a different brush. I do have another brush. I just go find it. I'd say this stuff works pretty darn good. There's some pretty tough little area right here. May need another soaking. And I would advise because what I'm about to do is spray this off with water. Before you stick it back, if you if you use this product, and I I'm just guessing this, but. I'm, a, I'm assuming this product is water soluble, so when you stick it back into your bucket to soak again, don't do it wet because, oh, I can feel that stuff got on me. It, it does sting a little. Um, you put it back in there wet, it's going to dilute your product. So don't do that. This is working great. Let's do a little bit on the hood. This hood looks a little tougher. I don't know why. Maybe it was thicker. It's breaking down. You see that? Maybe the hood had some primer on it. I'm going to re-soak the hood. There's a little coming off. Sometimes you have to make like a scratch in it too. Give it a place to really get in there. So it's starting to... It's coming off, but I'm going to soak the hood again. After I rinse the uh, body off and let it dry or take it to my air compressor and blow it so I don't dilute the product. Then I'll come and clean it again. May not show you the second part of clean, but we, it's already proven. That that stuff took the paint right off. And if I'm not mistaken, this paint has been on here probably 30 plus years. And uh, there you go. All right. I'm going to go back inside and we'll check it out when I get done. Stand by. All right. So I got the uh, final results here for what... what um, how this stuff performed scale coat to wash away paint remover s56 so um i'll be completely honest with you again i i this stuff was just given to me by a friend so i don't have any affiliation with these people so it's not like i'm pushing this product i just wanted to test it i mean that's what he sent it to me for and this i i, I thought you know that car needs to be stripped so the the, the main body, if you'll notice, there's some darker areas like around right here. This is where Steve had sanded. 
um, there was a parting line or a uh, there was a line there he sanded that he had done some sanding right there in the back so those where there was sanding the paint really adhered well here this perfectly smooth um, perfectly smooth plastic it, it came off like nobody's business you saw that um, I mean it really it really did a good job these little brackets here were for a, a wing in the back I guess for like the uh, he was I don't know I don't know what he was going for exactly but this this isn't part of the kit so these were added and then on the hood you'll see these are white these scoops were the 442 the 7442 that came with this kit um, it didn't have these um, Ram air style hood scoops so I guess these are resin I guess Steve had gotten a hold some re of some resin parts or or did you build these I don't know anyway they get destroyed them whenever uh, that when I was it just it ate the uh, but you know what maybe it was rough already but anyway these things are no good I'm gonna have to try to remove these scoops and get back down to the original plastic but all in all this stuff works good and so I I would totally recommend this uh, scale coat 2 wash away paint remover s56 I wet this and also to to see how much I used so I've strained this and put it back in here but I spilled a little bit so I would probably have on this one probably up to that line right there but I spilled a little bit when I was filtering it but it's filtered out totally clean with those filters that I use so it's good to go it's uh, ready for another stripping and hopefully I don't have to use it anytime soon because I hate doing it twice you know what I mean but anyway guys thanks for watching this video thanks to billy bear for sending me this um paint remover and you are right billy it works great best stuff i've ever used to remove paint and quick too so that's that um thanks for watching this video guys if you haven't already subscribed i appreciate it if you go hit that subscription button as well as the like button and leave me a comment let me know have you ever heard of this stuff do you know where writer's hobby shop is it's in um oh shoot you sent me a message today billy and i forgot what part of michigan it was in but anyway it's in michigan so you can look it up um he said it was like 25 miles away from his house his hobby i guess it's your local hobby shop and um uh, uh Thanks to uh, Steve for sending me this kit way back. Anyway, and if you haven't already gone to the Facebook group, guys, go there, check it out. Join the Facebook group. Um, maybe on the Facebook group, I need to say, hey, if you, need, you guys seen this stuff, I might, I might make a Facebook post with this stuff. Recommending it, because I like it. Um, it's not cheap, though. I'll be honest with you. He showed me, um, I got the price here, twenty two ninety nine. You better conserve all you could. This ain't no, this ain't no purple power or uh, oven cleaner price. This is this is expensive stuff, but it works very well. Also, go to Hobby Nut Models. Check out Mark's inventory at Hobby Nut. Grab you some good MCW paint that I could be putting back on this. Uh, what year is it? Nineteen seventy Oldsmobile Johan kit. Uh, I don't know what color I'd paint it. But it, any color would look good on an old Oldsmobile. Golly, those are such cool cars. And, uh, hey, anyway, um, what else? Teespring store. If you'd like to have a Teespring uh, or a uh, Model Car Videos t-shirt, sticker, hoodie. It's getting kind of warm for a hoodie. But, anyway, if you still want a hoodie, that's fine. Um, coffee mug, things like that. Check out the Teespring store linked in the description as well as the other things that I'm mentioning. Also, go check out the Patreon page. If you're not a member of my Patreon page, you're missing out because we have live streams with all the guys. We get on there together. We have fun. We talk and you'd love it. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video and until the next one, we'll see you later. Take care. Bye.